So, are you a beginning mushroom hunter or an experienced pro? Either way, you've come to the right place. I got some tips for y'all. Secret tips. Secret. Tips. Tips. Secret Common tips. Common sense. Tips. 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 Common sense. Tips. You are solely responsible for what you identify and consume. Use multiple sources. Okay, hello shroomers, four walkers, mushroom loving folk. It's a misty, frosty January morning. And we've had an El Nino update that's in our favor. So I thought I'd tell you about it. Noah is now saying there's a 60% chance that we might have a new... Ooh, so my GoPro battery died. Yeah, about the neutral spring. We have a 60% chance, so better than half, that we are going to have a neutral or normal spring. Uh, but still 40% that boiling hot El Nino. So keep watching every month. The NOAA website gives updates. I'm excited about the prospect of having a normal spring. Here I am in a brand new place. It's uh, got a wide trail. Lots of, uh, lots of trees that look uh, promising. Look at this big dead guy here. Oh. Well, there's ash. I'm looking for elm. Oh, looks like it's cold. There's a little emergency shelter. Okay. So in the springtime, you're gonna need a meat thermometer or a candy thermometer. To stick in the soil and try and push it in about four inches and see when it gets around 53 degrees. When it hits that, those morels are starting to wake up, get out there. That's really a good sign. So there's an exception to every rule. That temperature rule I was speaking about is for the yellow morel that starts off as a little gray mushroom. Morcella Americana, near tulip morels, Morcella diminutiva, maybe some wood chip morels or burn morels, but the black morel is way earlier. It can still have frost on the ground. It can still freeze. This dark color maybe helps keep it a little warm. Um, so earlier than when the temperature hits that 53, a couple weeks earlier, pop out and look at your aspen trees. Look at your white pine and your jack pine. You might find black morels. Now, every state's probably different. Maybe there's some different trees, but up in the upper Midwest, Northern Illinois, Southern Central Wisconsin, that's what I find them under. Northern Wisconsin, more on those pines, but here more aspeny. Yeah, so secret tip. Okay, so yeah, you're gonna see a couple mushroom species before morels are up. One being the Dryad Saddle, also called the pheasant back. That's Seriporus squamosus. And then, even before that, velvet foot or velvet shank. Uh, Glamulila, <laughs> Valuta peas. <laughs> I hate Latin. I hate it with a passion. I hate it. I'll put it up so you can see what's supposed to be in pictures. There's some plants that you can look for blooming. And when they're blooming, it could be too early, blood root, or just right. Um, dandelions, trout lily, and then too late, well, dames rocket or when the trillium get pink in color, they're old and you'll probably find some old morels, but nothing new growing. And then when you stick your thermometer in the soil, it'll say 61 or 62 degrees. And then you'll see yellow oysters popping and it's too warm for fruiting of more morels. So that's the end of your morel season of that location, which always fills me with sadness. You know, I mean, but what can you do? They're ephemeral beauties that only last a few weeks. You have that short temperature window, very tiny. So when you finally find that perfect tree, dead elm or whatnot, make sure you stop, drop, and wait for your eyes to focus. 
takes a good minute. I'm telling you, if you do do a quick walk by, you'll miss like 80% of the mushrooms. No way down. Stop. Drop. Focus. Slow down. Stop. Drop. Focus. Ooh, no handrails. Let's do this dicey little deal. What a pretty natural little creek though. Super pretty. Pro tip, hunt in the rain. The more you walk, the better you're going to do. What's a little water anyway? Whether you buy a $200 Gore-Tex jacket or a dollar store plastic poncho. Get out there and get in the rain during morel season. Darkened forest flora. After a big rain, during a big rain, like the leaves turning dark, let the morels stand out and they're much easier to see. Fancy Gore-Tex jacket. Dollar store poncho. You can be the shroom and get all the shrooms if you hunt in the rain. Ooh, it's coming down. So here in my new spot, I've just spotted a bunch of dying, peeling, and dead elm trees right up in here, plus some ash. So remember the spot. Okay, this is Tattooed Granny live from a stump in January, freezing my, you know what off, freezing the flowers off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you got to look for spots all year round, you know. It's a good deal. Oh, my butt's cold. <laughs> Keep walking. Now, most people don't walk enough. They cry about not finding morels. And I say, how many parks have you been in? How many miles in your boots? How many trees have you checked? Keep it in mind. It is proportional. If you know what trees, and you check enough of them, you're going to find morels. If you wimp out, if you're tired, if you're crying in nature, sitting down like I just was, well, someone's gonna beat you to it. Get out there early, get out there off. This place has, this place has deluxe trail signage at least. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's perfect. I mean, see how his bark is buckling all the way up? Not a bud in sight. And the branches, they're kind of curly. So, yeah. Whew. Yep, that's an elm. He's gone. Still no snow on the ground. Mid-January. I don't have any pictures of my breakfast today. It wasn't a delicious steak and egg bagel, I'll tell you that. It's a hard boiled egg. A few sips of mega antioxidant juice. That's what I get now. Cause I'm training, training the legs for morel season. I gotta outcompete you youngins. I am not a spry spring chicken anymore. Oh, that's an elm tree right there. He fell down. Mm-hmm. It looks like dead turkey tail on that ash tree, also down. Well, here's the problem with the good spots. They dense. Look at all those elms in there. Dying dead ash trees. But look how thick it is. You need long pants, long shirt sleeves, tough boots that go above your ankles. Thanks for watching today. I hope we get a good season. Happy hunting. Tattooed Granny, peace out.